views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Um, I just want to let everyone know that's trying to watch the video stream. We do seem to be having some technical difficulty there. So we're recording it and we will put it up later as soon as we can. So we apologize for that. That's why it's not streaming there. But we are live here with WBLQ and Westerly. Hello to Brian. It's good to be back. It's been interesting the last couple of weeks with technology. And we are with TransformationTalkRadio.com. So we are live audio streaming with the radio show there. So we will have that up with a video later if that's the way you follow. And I apologize. We've been working on it for two weeks trying to get it straight. So here we go. What are we doing? We're going to move forward and we're going to be positive here. We are working on angel guidance for October. October is an interesting month, and that's what I want to share with you today. October brings together the energy of Virgo. We have a full moon coming on October 5th, and Venus, the energy of the feminine, the divine feminine, and Mars, the energy of the divine masculine, come together. They don't come together very often. They come together I think the next time they come together is in 2019, I believe. It's every few years. But but together, that's a very powerful duo that we need right now. Perfect timing. Well, I asked the angels about some of this. And back in January, when I did for October, it was Archangel Joe Feel and Shamuel that came in. And it's interesting because I do the whole year. And then we go through and do each month when it comes around. And every time, which I know I do this and I love it and I trust it, but every time I do it at the beginning of the year, and then when I get to that month, so much more unfolds and makes so much more sense why they were saying what they were saying for that month. So Jovial and Shamuel are absolutely perfect angel guidance for the month of October. I love, love, love that. They bring it to a place where, um, I don't know how to explain it. They bring you to a place of balance. They help you with the balance because if you haven't noticed, and I'm sure you have, if you look out there in the world today, you know, there is that struggle between I'm trying to be a good person. I'm trying to put out love, your feminine energy. You're trying to be creative. And then there's this stronghold that, comes some comes across sometimes that sometimes you feel like you're just being forced to do things you don't want to do or maybe that's coming from within yourself. Right now what we want to talk about with this is how we work with this energy within ourselves because if we do that this masculine feminine battle and struggle for who's running what there really isn't a struggle when we allow it to be in balance and work together. What an incredible team within yourself, within your own energy that we all have. We all have male, female energy, if you want to call it that, masculine, feminine energy. We all have the ability to nurture, have compassion, be um, be a light of love out in the world. We also have the masculine side of us that's assertive and strong, defends, protects. 
okay, and get things done. So when we bring that together within you, the, the person, it's a beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful. So here we have this energy coming in that's going to be very strong. So when I looked at that, I went, ooh, this is going to be interesting. So that's a lot of what October is about. So it's about this balance. And we're going to share that today in the show. We're going to go through the different things that Archangel Jophiel and Shemuel will have for us on how to make the most of this energy in October. This energy is very powerful. This energy is strong. This energy is, what do you want to say? This energy is life-changing. That's what I want to say. It's life-changing for the better. This is going to bring the best part of you out. This is going to bring who you really are to an incredible place where you really know who you are. You really are being who you are. And you have the confidence to step forward in it. This is a time change we've been through if you haven't noticed already it's kind of hard not to the earth is definitely doing a lot of changing everything's doing a lot of changing we're feeling the change right here and we're working to be creative and open and expand and flexible with what we need to do how we've always done it so we're experiencing it right now with with the video part of it and just working with that i mean it happens. Life happens. Technology happens. And my goal this morning was I had no idea. I think I probably or we probably let me say it was more than one of us. I to work this out. I've been working with technical support with a couple of different major programs that we use to bring all this to you. And they don't even know yet. They're still working on their fixes with their engineers. So it's just that big. It's more than beyond anything else. So we go with what we can do. My goal is it doesn't matter. We just want to get the message out there. We just want to put that positive out there in that light and be that support from the angels and, and be that, that messenger of support that they're bringing to us. So that's that's my attitude with it. And we're just going to go with whatever happens, happens. Um I want to say thank you to everybody that supports and is is there for us because we understand, uh, you know, we've got people that have been there for years. We have people that are just coming on board and we appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I had a beautiful message uh, that came in last week. We weren't here last week live. I did have a pre-planned out of town that time. So that wasn't anything but that. But I had a beautiful message come in and I want to share. And it came from a gentleman named Peter. I'm doing this from memory, so bear with me. Uh, So I may not have it exact. He just wanted to send love, light, and energy for everything that's going on to us. And he was thinking of us and he just sent it out to us. And it really touched my heart. And I wanted to tell you, thank you, Peter, for that. That was a beautiful message. Uh, I believe he is from New Jersey. If I'm incorrect, I apologize. I don't have that right in front of me. Um, you wouldn't believe I can't really move much right now because I have so much connected to me today. We have backups to the backups to the backups because of everything going on. So uh, I got to stay still. No talking with my hands today, which you know I love to do, which isn't very easy, or I will probably rip one of these three microphones out. That's right. I have three microphones attached to me and then this one here to the station <laughs> because I'm just trying to make sure that the message is recorded in somehow, some way, and we will get it to you. So other than that, the angels have given me that encourage. This morning they prompted me to do a very interesting uh, meditation. And I was feeling a little rough before that because I've been worn out uh, trying to overcome all this stuff. And we've been trying to get back on track and we're feeling all these shifts and changes. And, you know, when you realize, well, no, don't resist it. Just go with it. It's going to show you something completely different. The world opens up. The world opens up. And they gave me that encouragement today. And it was incredible. So I did that meditation today that with you today during this episode because it was one that came from Ophiel and was with me and Samuel 
so good for one step at a time, peaceful transition, and the anxiety and the overwhelm. And we're going to go through those messages as well. So we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we will power on with angel guidance for the month of October. I'm very excited to share this with you. And I'm ready to share the burst of support they gave me with you today. Stay with us. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We will be right back after the break. Plus, live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. What is a brilliant culture, and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to TransformationRadio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio. Featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net for show days and times. 1230 WPLQ. And welcome back to the show. We are live. Uh, you are listening to the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. And our topic today, we're sharing the angel guidance for the month of October 2017. And we have two angels in particular that have come through with that, Archangel Jophiel and Archangel Shamuel, with a little bit of flair and support from Archangel Michael, of course. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. So first of all, when we came into the show, I was sharing with you that the month of October, which my plan is next week's show on October 5, we're going to talk about that full moon energy with the angels and about that a little bit more in depth. But right now, I want to share that energy of that balance for the month of October. The energy comes through for us to make those changes, but make them from a, an assertive. It's like masculine 
but it's at the same time has that feminine nurturing and that love and that gentleness, the awareness of how our choices, this is big, how our choices affect someone else. So we all, you know, it's like, we got to do this, we got to do this, we got to do this. And you're making choices for yourself. But this is interesting because we're making the choices that are right for us, but we're doing it from a heart-centered love and awareness of how everything that we choose and everything that we do not only affects ourselves, but is something that we're putting out into the world. This is where the balance comes in. So that sounds like, oh, now I'm afraid to make a choice. I might, you know, it's not about that. This energy is definitely going to support you. Archangel Shamuel came through with that. And he always comes through to me with a beautiful, soft, gentle, it's kind of a pale yellow. It's not like a neon yellow. It comes through very gently and um, it's like vitality, but soothing and calming vitality, if that makes any sense. I know that sounds like two different things. It just doesn't come through like it's just barreling over you or, you know, like in your face strong. It comes across like a gentle, nurturing type of energy. When he comes through, he's like, it's okay. Take your deep breaths. Calm down. We're going to do this one step at a time. Let's focus one step at a time. And he'll show you and unfold that. It's kind of like just you're going along the journey and he lights it as you go. That comes into an issue when you're not, when you're having a control issue or you want to see everything laid out before you do it. That's when that becomes a bit of a challenge for you. He helps you to release that need to control it. And to basically allow life to unfold. It doesn't mean you're not proactive at all. Actually, it means the opposite. You're going to be proactive. This energy definitely brings in how you can be assertive with your masculine energy, but in a very um, nurturing and filled with love way from your heart. So that's what's interesting about this. It's not one or the other. We're not divisive here i know you're, you're kind of seeing how this energy is bouncing around out there in the world right now if you think about it in your own experiences or what you see don't become what you're seeing be what you want to see out there remember that one remember that amazing phrase i believe gandhi said be that change you want to see in the world it does start within ourselves it does start there when we balance that we're confident we're not afraid to make choices that are right for us, but we do that with love from our heart. Now we've made a difference in the world, and now we haven't just gone over and, you know, pushed our way through or forced it and anger. And because that really comes from a place of fear. When you feel like you have to push and you have to fight like that, it, it really comes from a place of fear that you're so afraid somebody's going to take it away from you. And I know what that feels like. I've had it too. And it isn't that. It really doesn't happen that way. When you are in a divine alignment, your higher self. So our goal is to be in that place. So this energy coming through comes through with your efforts are going to be rewarded. That was one of the yummies that they shared. And it was, yes, you will be rewarded in a beautiful way. But we want you to, to do the work here. You have to go in and it's basically your higher self is going to be in charge of those energies inside of you. You'll know which side of you is more out of balance by some of the behaviors that you display or some of the ways you respond to life. Uh, probably respond is a better way to say that. Uh, for example, do you give your power away? Do you just like, I don't want to be responsible for making the decision. You do it. You just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Mm. Yes, we need leaders and we need people that are group team oriented, but we also need you to lead your own life, right? What, what in your life is like that? You may or may not be like that. This is just for those that are about that. That's a bit of a imbalance on the feminine side where you're just giving all of it away. We are in a nurturing state when we are working with our feminine energy. But, and this is where Venus 
you know, that planet's energy comes through and it's going to help support you a little bit to find clarity on, do you have that side of you balanced? It, 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 it affects relationships. It affects your relationship with yourself. It's a self-love thing. It's the love you receive. You allow for yourself and what you give out. Do you always feel denied? Do you always feel beaten down? You know, where is it, victim mode, things like that. You know, where that's going to be if that side needs balancing that feminine side. Let's flip it over. What about the masculine side? If it's imbalanced, that's going to show more egotistical, pushing, demanding, bossing, abusiveness, anger, fighting, you know, you know, feeling like you've got to take it to have it. Do you feel that you have to take things in life to have them because they won't be rewarded to you? If we look at um, some of the spiritual laws, nothing can be taken from you that is already yours. But do you believe that? So you're fighting, you know, um, do you, these are things within your personal life now that we're talking about because that's important. If we work here, that makes a better outer world. But you have to do it from inside. So that's why I'm so passionate about putting these messages out because I'm here to help you, the individual, as you're going through what you're going through because that makes a better world tomorrow when we are happy, balanced people. So where is the imbalance for you? Which one is it? Mars is the one that rules uh, the masculine energy and Venus rules the feminine energy and they are coming together in the month of October. Interesting, interesting, interesting. They come together with another little uh, interesting tidbit here, the, the Virgo energy of October. And that is about it is time to take a stand, make a choice, make a decision. No more sitting on the fence. You know, I mean, we've had a lot of that. This whole year has been so much change. But where in your life can you make a difference? So when I. I feel discouraged or when I hear that from others, like, man, I'm just feeling so bummed. Everything I try, everything I try, I could, you know, I mean, I put a lot of effort into doing the show and we we're see we're being challenged. We're being challenged and I do believe it to change it, how we're doing it. So that's what I'm opening up to listen to. But, you know, that could be something I don't know that could be something different you know I don't know change the way the camera is or you know maybe just change the I don't know what it is you know I mean I'm I'm allowing myself to be open to that that that's kind of an example just to give you an uh, in the moment example here but if you feel like no matter what I try life kicks me that's victim that is where is your power leaking out where is that power within you leaking out? Your feminine energy feels weak inside when you feel like that. Your male energy may be trying to step up and fight and claw and defend it. Very noble of your masculine energy. However, it's off balance, you see. One, one counters the other. If we have very strong on the opposite way that, you know, you don't want your male energy to feel like it doesn't have any price. Now you're going to be more never making a choice, a, to, a lot floaty. You're going to be creating, but never finishing. And, you know, honestly, I've personally experienced a lot of that stuff. It goes back and forth. It goes back and forth within all of us because I work with energy, see and feel the energies of everything. So that meditation going to do today and we're going to do that probably in either the next one or the other one but we're not doing music Brian just so you know uh, we're going to keep it simple today we're not going to get too complicated we don't need the music I just want to give you something for when you feel like oh my gosh what am I going to do with this energy this is like a wonderful meditation to be using now and through the month of October especially around the full moon which is next week and we will be doing a little bit more with that next week on the show. But what are we going to do? I mean, wh how can we work with this and have this balance without overwhelm? And that's where Jophiel came in. Jophiel lifted me up. I felt like I was flying this morning. I know I'm probably talking with my hands and I shouldn't be. I'm trying to be still so I don't knock anything apart here. I know a lot of wires today, so I don't want to pull anything out. So I just.
this is restrictive for me, so I'm doing my best. When we have, when we feel like we need that lift, that's where Joe Field can really bring you up and give you that inspiration you need. You can, you can receive that inspiration that takes it to a whole nother level, that takes it to, oh my gosh, there it is, there it is. So we're going to take the short break. We we come back. We're going to keep powering on with this. Um, we looks like we have a caller, so hang on, caller. I'll bring you on when we come back. And we also have this great meditation to help with our energy, so we can make the most of this October. And this this is a beautiful meditation with the angels that I've been speaking of: Joe Feel, Shamuel, and Michael. And It was awesome, and I can't wait to share it with you. So please stay with us. We will be right back after the break. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Thrive is what we experience when our mind, body, and soul operate as one. When we thrive, we excel on all levels. Thrive is the mindset that matters. It is essential to our being. Have you ever found yourself looking for the instruction manual on how to thrive? You'll find everything you need to help you feel strong, powerful, and peaceful in your own body. So don't waste any more time. Visit thrivebygen.com today. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. What is a brilliant culture, and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. And welcome back to the show. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about the angel guidance for the month of October 2017. So with that, uh, do we still have the caller, Brian? Uh, Yes, indeed we do, Jen. We have Nico from the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the program. Hello. Hi. It's my first time calling. Hi. 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 Oh, well, welcome to the show, and it's Nico, right? Yes, Nico. So interesting how and that song what, Well, played. welcome to the show, and it, it's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
No, the song that you just had, the Smashing Pumpkin song. I feel like Billy. He's a he's an angel. I don't know. I met him once, and um, it was very inspiring. I felt like I, when I heard his music, I felt like a message was trying to come through to help me. I don't know. I just feel like he's mm-hmm. one of those kind of. I don't know. But it's what kind of asking about how to work with the angels. Um, well, I love. Anyway. I actually, I just oh, I just got a nice little goosey when you were talking about that, and I love that because that's a significant energy that they're kind of nudging me on my shoulder. They want me to share with you. Uh, this comes from Michael, and he was kind of smiling with this, and I loved it. Uh, Archangel Michael was saying, you know, that you're that you're hearing and you're reading between the lines with music. Music has a frequency. And mm-hmm. it, it could be uh, whichever one works for that individual. But if you were hearing and you connected with something in the frequency of that music, absolutely, mm-hmm. you're tapping in and your intuition was, you know, I call it, a, oh, I got a hit. I got an intuitive hit. That's what I call it. And and mm-hmm. it could be anything. I get it with nature all the time, but I get it with music, too. Um I have three musical instruments, believe it or not. I know you guys will not see that. I won't do that to you. <laughs> I mean, I played piano. I sang. I'm, I'm an artist. I love to paint. You know, anything that is a creative yeah. outlet, especially mm-hmm. in the arts, opens up the right side of our brain, opens up the, the feminine energy side, the Venus energy side of us as that creative side. And it's you are hearing and connecting with that. So I'm really elaborating on what you said. You only you called in, but I love what you said because mm-hmm. it's such a beautiful tool to share. Music, arts, creative, anything that inspires us and we love it, lights us mm-hmm. up from the inside. And then we're putting it into the world. So I love that you shared that. Now, I wanted to say that. But did you have a question before I keep going? Because you just excited me. Thank uh, you for that inspiration. Uh, <laughs> Well, I was just wondering, how do you work? Because I feel like I admire such people who can connect with that and work with. I want to be able to work with the angels. I don't know. The other day, I was just like, I want to connect more with the angels. I feel like I've kind of been out of touch and be able to work and create Mm -hmm. with making my music, you know, go deeper and be able to help other people. Right. But sometimes I feel like it's hard, you know, know. How do you work with the angels? Sometimes it, it has felt like that. Now, just just to let you know, you're not alone in that. Um, it has felt difficult for a lot of people. I've been hearing that from a lot of people. Like they said, I, I was connecting, I was connecting, and now all of a sudden I can't connect. Why is that happening? It's because the energy has shifted to where they're teaching us to stand on our own two feet and trust what we're feeling. And this month coming up is wow. It's even making more sense to me. You work with them in your creative passions. All you have to do is put that intention like, I would absolutely love to work with you. Um, I've been I've been working with them my whole life. I can't imagine not working with them. Um, mm-hmm. It's not li- really a worship. They help me connect and trust my higher self, the God self of within me. They help me to trust and feel more connected to the divine is what happens. They will also yeah. maybe sometimes tell you what you might be trying to avoid. <laughs> and and they, they, they yeah. will tell you the truth. Um, they support yeah. you positively. So if yeah. art, one of the easiest ways, and you were asking how to connect, one of the easiest ways, if you're already working in the arts, it sounds like you said music or something like that, if you are... Yeah. Put just feel your music. Have you ever have you ever noticed that with some of the performers, the people that write songs and then they're singing them? You just felt that yeah. song they sang it. Yeah, it's the words I think. Hey, that you get, know what I mean? Lost. Yeah, the words get lost. That's what yeah, I think I can feel when I'm making music. You get in your body, but then yeah. the words, you know, you're trying to say something and then your ego gets mm-hmm. in the way. That's the hard part. <laughs> That, it does. Think, and, you know, and we're trying and, and right now we're doing this huge ascension to a higher frequency. So, you know, everything we used to do the old way that worked every time. I'm a good example of that with this what we have going on with our video section. Um, 
it's time for us to find new and different and creative ways to express it. And that is what has caused some people to go, oh, wait a minute. Now I'm out of my comfort zone. This is the way I always did it, and it doesn't work like that anymore, and I'm not feeling it that way. And it's because it's pushing us, and not not with force. It's it's really given us that window to expand and connect deeper. So yeah. it, I call it taking the training wheels away because we need to really ride that bike, and that bike has been representing that balance in our life that we've needed. The angels will give us through the creative side, the feminine side, that's how we, it's like, here's the way we create. Here's something new. Here's a different path. And then our masculine energy is the one that's assertive and will take the plan and move forward with confidence. So we really need both sides of us. Um, Sometimes that logic gets in the way. Sometimes Mm -hmm. second guessing and doubt or not trusting what we picked up. If it's exciting you and it's all you think about, then that's what you want to listen to. Is that making sense? That just came from Michael literally to you. Like, if, if you don't think what lights your heart up, what you can't wait to do, what you can, and they will trust me when you go on the spiritual awakening path, it will take you out of your comfort zone because it's how we grow the most. And it doesn't mean we have to suffer. It's really how going to shift the perspective of what we go through. Um, mm-hmm. I could have seen everything today that was happening with, with what I had as a, oh, now it's all ruined. It's not perfect. It's not ruined. Mm-hmm. It's rerouting it. That's all. And right. it's fine. And now I'm talking to you. <laughs> and that's fantastic. <laughs> so yeah. they will help you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Help me, help me. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think I'm just feeling a lot of fear because, you know, you're trying to swim, you know, again, and with, with the thoughts, with the words and stuff, in that area, it's it's a little weak, you know, and I, that's where I feel mm-hmm. like I'm struggling or feel fear. But it's a process, I guess, you know. Right. This, this isn't. Well, for some, here, like, for some, it's changed so much that it's like it it's kind of affecting the patterns of belief that we had, because maybe some of those patterns of belief aren't supporting or not really working anymore. Um, It's affected people in a lot of ways. I mean, some people are like, wait, this isn't, this isn't the way they said it was in religion, or this isn't the way this person said to connect with the angels or that. I don't think there's one way to connect. I think that that's an individual way that you connect. Um, Mm -hmm. I have an intuitive course that I teach. That's for people that really want to dig into that, um, that, okay. that, that really helps you go there. But, but at the same time, you can do it the way that works for you. Uh, I, I work with, I mean, I read and I listen and I'm passionate about how everybody connects, but there isn't one way to do it. There's not one yeah. way. I mean, sometimes it's the opposite for me. If I need to write an article or I need to come up with something creative, I have to go to the easel and paint. It has nothing to do with writing, but that's how right. I write. You see? Right. Yeah. It has nothing to do with writing, but that's how I write. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can, so yeah, you're, you're, you're going to go with whatever inspires right you, like a song or words to the song, whatever that might be. Does that make sense? Yeah. Still trying to find my way. <laughs> but it's cool. Yeah. yeah. So you will. You will. I'm not going to say it's easy. It's going to feel unknown. Yeah. It's it's an exciting journey adventure. I like to use the word adventure because we're going into the unknown. It's like we're pioneering okay. into this brand new dimension. And we will connect yeah. with them differently because they want us to know that we can stand on our own two feet. So they're not. They're not, it's not the way it was, and that's the way that's come through to me. It's not coming through the way it was coming through before because they want you to know that you can do this. So with that, yeah. uh, we're about to go to break. Thank so, you. Yes, I don't okay, want you to give up. It, the fact that you heard and felt inspired by another musician is beautiful, and yeah. you heard your message. They will give you messages like that. They will give you consistent messages. It's like there's that. 
I get it with numbers. I get it with feathers. I get it with animals. And the more you yeah. work with it, the more it opens up. And it's absolutely incredible. So I want to say thank you thank for you calling me in. It was great to talk to you today. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you, you just inspired a lot of people because you listened and then you felt inspired to call in. You actually passed on a message. Did you know you Great. did that? <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't know what I'm doing. I, <laughs> yeah, I never do this. I know I just call. I was like, kind of, I was yeah. like, hang up. I was like, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I just stayed, stayed on, and just kind of worked through you the question. You did it though. Know. <laughs> I know, and I love it. It was the divine timing, and it was amazing because it was perfect to share. But now I've got to go to break. So I want to say thank you for that. And it was wonderful to talk to you and to hear that beautiful message from the angels that you called in and shared with us. So thank you for that. And we're going to break. So that was from Nicole, Nico in Los Angeles. So thank you, Nico. And we will be right back. Stay with us. Awareness is universal. Establishing a living awareness through meditation brings peaceful, healthy, and creative well-being into your everyday life. The practice of living awareness, Spirit Fire's own meditation practice, is built on this belief and is designed for every level of practitioner. Each year, Spirit Fire hosts living awareness meditation retreats that allow you to explore the practice in depth at our retreat center in beautiful western Massachusetts. Introduce yourself to meditation and the practice at the Foundations Retreat. Attend, in silence, a silent meditation retreat focused on mindfulness, presence, and nature. Or be engaged with the meditation sittings themselves at the Deepening Retreat. Start adding to your awareness and attend a meditation retreat designed to cultivate consciousness in your everyday life. For details on attending a Living Awareness Meditation Retreat, visit upcoming events at www.spiritfire.com. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Thrive is what we experience when our mind, body, and soul operate as one. When we thrive, we excel on all levels. Thrive is the mindset that matters. It is essential to our being. Have you ever found yourself looking for the instruction manual on how to thrive? You'll find everything you need to help you feel strong, powerful, and peaceful in your own body. So don't waste any more time. Visit thrivebygen.com today. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to effect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. And 
And we are back. We're back for the last segment. We have one more caller that I can take quickly. And then we're going to do that meditation I was going to share with you because I'm really excited to share it. So, Brian, let's bring on the last caller. I can do that. It's, or, how do you say it? Carrie or Kari from San Diego? Um, yeah. No, yeah, I know. It's just I'm, I'm kind of like surprised, too. Hi, Carrie. Is it Carrie? Hello? Hello. Oh, maybe. You You know what, Brian? I'm going to keep going. I don't know how old are you. Are you there? (laughs) Yes. We have to hurry. We're in the last segment. What can we do for you, Carrie? Yes. Um, I had some um, dreams last night, and I don't know what it was. It was um, a little um, unsettling. And I was wondering... Is there like a message that maybe I should um, maybe um, like move out of my current uh, job and maybe search somewhere else? Would it be a good time? Oh, wow. Time? That's um, okay. All right. Well, wh- what I'm doing right now is I'm asking the angels for that really quickly about what you have going on. The first thing that came through was Michael, and he said, don't fear any of the uh, dreams, even the intense ones that seem like they're scary and crazy. He said, we're processing old, and it's not we, it's you with them, everything, but you're basically doing it. You're processing the old energies up and out. It's kind of like you're purging. It's like cleaning out the garage. You know, you're packing up to move to a new home and you get rid of a lot of stuff. Yes, it's yes and yes and yes. You are looking to move and expand, but there's a clean out process that's happening right now. And whatever we don't do or process in our wake, a lot of times that will happen in a dream. Uh, Some of the dreams really freak people out, but they're not literal. It's metaphoric. So you're looking beyond that. You're looking for what does that mean? You know, like there's dreams of. This is going to sound crazy. People that dream about toilets or being in there and all that stuff and getting rid of stuff, they're just getting rid of the old that needs to go away. They're not holding it anymore. It's a good sign in a dream when something like that happens because it's not constipation, is it? I know I'm using that as a really rough example, but it's what I'm trying to say to you. And it's the one that they're giving me to share because they have a sense of humor with this. But if you have dreams like that, and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I dreamed that. Let the dreams flow because in dreams, anything can happen. Nothing's going to happen to you. It's energy that's processing to go and get out of the way. You're clearing clutter out right now is what they're saying. Hang on to that uh, dream of the inspiration, you're going to know you're going to be really excited when it's time to move to something else. Right now, you're clearing out the clutter, and the dreams are showing you that. So that's what they've given me to give to you. And that came from Michael, and he said, you're on your way, and it's probably going to pick up and ramp up a little bit. And when you have the inspiration to move forward, you will. And that's how that works. And I'm going to have to run now. I know I'm, I went really fast. Thank I wanted you. to make sure you got that. But I need, I promised I would do this meditation for everyone. So I want to make sure I have a couple of minutes left to do that. And I just want to so say much. thank have you for day. calling in. And I'm actually very excited for you that you're, the first state of transition and moving to something new is clearing out the clutter and the closets and moving all of the stuff out of the way to make room for something new. So... The dreams are just showing you that you are actually moving forward. Sometimes we don't dream that until it's actually started to shift in our subconscious. So your subconscious is clearing out. So just hang in there, Carrie. And thank you for calling in. I am going to keep going, Brian. I think she's gone. I'm not sure. But what what I want to do right now is I want everyone, if you're not driving and it's safe for you to, and you can listen to this on the recording later if you want, It's just close your eyes for a moment, and I want to take you on this quick little journey that you could do at any time throughout the month of October or any time, really. And it's a energy clearing. It's energy healing. But boy, is it going to support you and clarify who you're connecting to, what you're connecting to, 
to protect you so you know you're connecting to the angels or divine guide guidance and your higher self when you feel like you just don't know and it's it's a bit a bit chaotic that's what this can do for you this is beautiful so you've got your eyes closed and you just take a couple of deep breaths and i want you to envision that this beautiful light and it's to me it's very bright with it almost looks uh, sparkly and glistening it's like a white funnel of light coming through the top of your head and if you were to look at that with and it has sparkles of silver and gold in it and maybe a little hint of green for healing just let that come into your crown chakra at the top of your head and just let it flow all the way down into your body all the way to the tips of your toes tips of your fingers and just let it fill you all the way up, pushing out any negative belief, any negative anything, energy, uh, any kind of something that's holding you back. Just let it completely fill you up and just know that it, this is safe and this is divine energy coming in and clearing out the clutter so to speak and as you are going all the way up to where you're filled completely up let it overflow coating the outside of you in a protective shield Ooh, i love that part it reflects because of all the sparkly stuff in it and it's reflecting energy away now so nothing new comes in and then it's expanding out into your space it expands all the way out into your space where um, it's in your home, every room, every nook and cranny, fill it all the way from ceiling to floor. Go hundreds of feet down below your home into the earth. Expand all the way out to the property lines. Go way above hundreds of feet into the air and completely encompass this area and submerge it in this beautiful light, this healing light. Now you're going to Completely let it overflow, coating your cars, coating your bicycle, coating your office where you work, your place of work. And it stays on you, with you, filling you, around you. If you're taking a walk, if you're out shopping, if you're doing anything. And know that this is clearing out anything that is chaotic or confusing. Do it at any time. I just did it quickly within a minute and a half or so. And I wanted to give you, you could take a much slower pace. But when you need a quick, whoa, let me just get there. You will hear so much more clearly. You will know that what you are connecting with is pure divine intuition. What is right for you to do? It will really help you make those decisions. It will help point out what needs balance in your life. Because this month of October is a great opportunity to see the best of you you've ever known. And I look forward to you sharing that with us. So we will keep powering on. We don't know how we're going to come to you. We're just going to let it happen. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for the understanding and support. And we will see you here next time on The Jen Royster Show. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.